after this series, you should understand how to make all the connections to get a recording from Portable Media Site. This is an overall view of the Media Site network we are about to create. The beauty of Media Site is that it will record simultaneously the presenter as well as the presentation. Let's go ahead and find out how to make all the connections to make this network work. First is the tripod. Spread the legs wide, unclip the legs, and release the extensions. Once they're released, go ahead and clip them back into place to lock them down. To attach the camera to the tripod, slide the plate into the tripod head as shown. You'll hear a click, and after that, turn the lever to lock the camera onto the tripod. To connect the camera to a power source, Lift the eyepiece to access the back area and plug in either a battery or this power cable into the back with a downward motion, waiting to hear the click. If you're using the power, simply then just plug the camera into your power source. To get good audio of a presenter, use the wireless lavalier system. Attach the receiver to the camera hot shoe as shown, and then plug the cable into line number two. Make sure that you turn the power on for the receiver. Now for the transmitter. The clip on the back is meant to attach to the person's body, whether it's the pants or the jacket. Remember always to turn the power on so it will connect with the receiver. Holster the clip somewhere convenient and then place the microphone approximately six inches underneath the chin. To connect the camera to the media site, attach the adapter into the side. You'll notice it's an HDMI adapter and make sure you screw it in. Next, connect the HDMI cord into the adapter. Mm. And then lastly, connect the HDMI port into the back of the camera in the hidden door. And there you have it. Now to plug in media site. First, attach the power. At the top, you plug the power into the wall. And then lastly, Let's plug in the peripherals. We need to plug in the mouse into the USB slot as well as the keyboard. We also need to attach the laptop to the media site. We do this with an HDMI cable. Each side of the cable needs an adapter. Here is the serial port adapter. Make sure you tighten it. After you plug in the HDMI cable, now the other side needs an adapter as well. This side plugs into the lightning cable port on the side of the laptop. On the left you see the router. First you just connect the blue cord into the ethernet port on the wall and lastly plug in the router to power. The two laptops must communicate. The MediaSite laptop is the one that we connected to MediaSite earlier. The key is that both laptops must be on the same network. On the MediaSite laptop we then open up the software for Air Server. Going to the presenter's laptop we then make sure we're on the same network and on the display menu we open up class. Now the presenter's laptop material appears on the media site laptop. The presenter's laptop is usually found on the podium. 
Here, all we simply do is connect in the adapter to get the presentation to show on the overhead projector and plug in the overhead projector cable. Congratulations! You have completed all of the connections required to operate Portable Media Site. Make sure your camera and media site are ready to go. Good luck.